Hey guys, again this is Martin from howtomakemobilegames.com On October the 26th, 2014, I just wanted to show you the roads in China as well. And in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a new business model and uh, one of the risks that I'm a little worried about. Uh, not worried, but one of the risks that you always have to consider when you know doing new games or new approaches, or just business in general. So uh, let me turn this camera around. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse of the area. It's actually a kind of shitty day today. Oh shit, I'm all over the fucking place. <laughs> Martin, just pause the video down and just talk. Okay. Oh, okay. I just went right over to the other lane then. Oh Christ. God, I better not do that again. It scared me. So anyway, this, uh, this video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, our new business model and uh, one of the risks in the business model. So uh, I think I talk, I've talked about this in uh, uh, maybe a couple of videos and a couple of blog posts on the forum as well. And as a lot of you know, the, the two new games that we're doing now that I've talked about a, a couple of times is Sniper XXX and Playcade. Sniper XXX is the zombie shooting game. Uh, it's not going to be exclusive, exclusively zombies, it could be other characters. And um, Playcade is a game with many games in one, so a similar game model to 101 games in one. And so the reason that we're taking that approach to games now is because I honestly think that the making a small game every four to five days, a single player game with throwing some ads in there and just uploading it to the stores is getting harder and harder and harder, uh, really. And it's, a, it's not a long-term business model, and there's a couple of reasons. One is, let's say one day uh, Google uh, you know, flags your account and says, oh, you have to update all of your games for this new SDK because we're, you know, we've got some new rules. So you have to update 200 games, major problem. Uh, the other thing is that you're not generating any sort of long-term brand. So maybe players might check out your other games, but you're not really engaging the player. They're not getting a deep experience. They might have opened your game, played it for two minutes, and then moved on to the next game. They're not going to tell their friends about it. They're not going to remember the game. They're just going to see the ad in the game, click on it, and then move on. Um, you're all, Possibly as well, you're not creating anything. Uh, well, it is a business model, but it's, it's getting harder and harder to make money. The competition is getting tougher and tougher. And in that situation, you can't do any paid marketing because the ARPU is too low. Average revenue per user is too low per game. So you can't market a, a single game through paid channels like Chart Boost or App Loving or um, uh, AdMob or any of the other ad network channels because the minimum install is probably going to cost you like 50 cents. So that's the other thing. Um, in the, on, a, on a personal side as well, and I think this is—I think I'm speaking for uh, most developers out there, probably for the team as well—is that if we just do small games and in four or five days, and then just let them go, we're not really increasing our skill, our knowledge, and we're not doing anything that we really love. Okay, the if we start to build up a really cool, cool single game, a uh, single game package with lots of games or a very cool game we're starting to get some passion in there, you know what I mean? Not that there's not passion already, of course. I, you know, I love doing this and um, I'm sure the team is happy as well, hopefully. But the, you can't really, uh, you know, I'm not in love with any of the games, but hopefully this will really drive the passion um, even further. So, but the risk is, of course, like this was one of the things that I was worried about and, and even uh, our developer said this to me as well is that uh, if we've just got a single game APK in the store or a single game IPA file, an iPhone file in, in the store, it's not gonna get many downloads and because it's only a single game. If you've got one game in the store and, and you market that game as Playcade like we have, and we've got some keywords in there, and we're adding five games into the game now, or six games, it's not gonna get as many downloads as six individual games, because six individual games, you can have six different titles in the description, in the keywords, 
uh, six different sets of keywords, six different sets of screenshots, icons, all, all across the stores. And that means you're gonna get overall more downloads. So that's the risk. That's the big risk, in my opinion. That was what I was thinking about when we started this. And um, so we might not get the downloads. The same for Sniper XXX. It's, it's a good looking game, I think, at the moment. It's eye catching because it's got a cool icon and screenshots, but it might not get the downloads. So we're spending time into this game as opposed to moving on to the next one. But I still think it's the right move. I still think that building up a great game with a great uh, experience is going to generate a lot of like. Uh, replayability for the user. It's going to make them real happy and it's going to increase the ARPU, average revenue per user overall, okay? The thing is, for us now, the good thing is, uh, uh, since we've been doing this now, Cobble Play for uh, three years now, more than three years, Jesus, time flies. Uh, four years by February, oh my God. Um, the, the cool thing is that we've now got cash flow uh, which is essential to any business, of course. Cash flow is the lifeblood of any business, uh, especially in the early stage. And so we, we're in a position now where we can afford to do that. We can spend the time to build up this game. Now, Playcade, I've, I've seen for this past like once or two weeks, Playcade has made very little money, only a few dollars, literally, total. Uh, on Google, it's made very little downloads. I think on Amazon, it's making around 50 downloads a day but it's only made like one to two dollars, literally only one to two dollars. Uh, it might make a little bit more on Google because the banner ads might get clicked a little bit more. But again, we don't want to focus on making games that just make revenue through ads. We want to really uh, start to increase the ARPU of the game because players like the game and they want to buy something, they want to unlock the levels. And I think that's going to happen more and more. Uh, the ARPU should go up over time. Uh, but first we need to get a bunch of games into Playcade, uh, a bunch of mini games in there, and then include the meta game. The meta game is where players unlock uh, the next game by collecting coins in the previous games. So that's the big risk that I'm thinking about uh, with this new business model. Always, you know, we've got to stay flexible, we've got to try new things, we've got to. This is not 2011, this is not 2012 anymore, this is... Uh, 2000 or 2012 we could make five ten dollars every day on a game pretty easily and just we could do that four to five day uh, to create a game for in every four to five days and upload it into the store and, and it made good money and that money was was growing not anymore it's not happening so we need to think differently we need to do something different we need to always test different business models uh, different ways of building games uh, because there is money in the industry there is a lot of money in games there is billions and billions and it's growing it's just that that money is all shifting to the top of the pile towards the the games and the publishers who are able to really capitalize on uh, the user's attention so that's what we've got to do we've got to also start to look at things like multiplayer soon as well and uh, really you know take our game to the next level uh, you know <laughs> in a kind of pun way so, uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. You know, is, is it something that you think about as well? Do you think about risk every time you build a game? Is it not something that you think about? It's not like Cobble Play was a very well planned out business from the beginning with a clear business plan. No, I just started making games. and But these days I do consider risk a lot more. And I'm wondering if everyone else does as well. And what's the risk at the moment for you guys? Are you in the same situation? Do you feel the same way? And. Uh, I know a few of you on the forum as well, obviously having accounts cancelled, suspensions, uh, might be thinking the same sort of thing as I am, perhaps, uh, but also, you know, thinking the same risk as I, what I'm thinking too. Anyway, let me know what you think about this guy's video. Uh, guy's video? What do you think about this video, guys? Please like and subscribe on the channel. Uh, I'm not responding to YouTube comments anymore, uh, but I am responding to all of the comments as much as possible on the howtomakemobilegames.com forum. And I post these videos here and then everyone can leave comments and questions and I can catch up there a lot easier. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it that and I'm gonna speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye.